Hello, in this demonstration I will show you how you can create easily views to query, to index and query any JSON document. For this, I will use a simple uh, Java application that inject uh, tweets inside Couchbase. And let's run it here, use the java.jar command. Each dot is a tweet coming inside the database. So let's now go back to my uh, Couchbase and see that in the bucket we have activity and information getting in. So we see the number of item, number of, uh, of tweets coming up inside the database. Let's look at uh, one or uh, different tweets. So for example here I see it's to uh, see, we, you can see the text message and uh, information about hashtags so I see the hashtag that has been uh, e uh, extracted by the API itself. So I can see the text of the hashtags. I can see the date of creation of the tweet. And finally, I can see the user name here. So I won't go in detail about the API, but let's say I want to query the tweet uh, for a specific user. I want to find the tweet for a specific user. I want to count the number of tweets for a user. The thing I have to do inside Coachbase is to create a view. Let's create a view name Twitter by username and let's start to uh, write the view. So here you have the detail of the message the metadata, but let's directly write the map function. So the map function will create the index. So if doc user screen name, so if this attribute exists in the JSON document, emits the information. So I am done here, I can show the result, I have the index that is created with the name of the user, the Twitter ID, and I don't care about the value because I don't use it in this specific demonstration. So what I want to do now is to, for example, query for a specific user and so some tweets. So let's click on the URL and look at all the messages that I have inside my database for now. So I have all this, let's say, how many? Uh, 5,000 tweets. Let's take one user and with this I can do key and find the tweet for this user and I will get this message out of uh, my coach page using the API or using the view API. I can also query on multiple uh, users or for example here I will key this specific user but I can give an array of keys and in this case, I will see all the message for all this user. But let's say that now I want to count the number of keys, the number of tweets for a specific user. I just need to group them by user and count them. And to do that, inside Coachbase, you use the radius function. So we have a building function count, saving it, the query, and I will just re-execute the view now. So going back to my view, look at everything and I have 8,000 tweets uh, 8,000 tweets but I don't provide any key or any group level so it's counting all the keys that have a doc user screen, and screen name if I want to do count per user a group level equal one it will take the username and the number of tweets I can search in this page how many users have three of them three tweets here I have for example this user has three tweets and I can, if I want to, uh, same as before, count the number of tweets for this user. But what is interesting about Coachbase is we have created and we are maintaining, updating the index on the disk with the tweet and the radius functions that count the number of tweets for a specific user. And if I do that, just by reducing reduce false, I can see the different tweets for this specific user. Same index, but I can either aggregate the value or count them, or view the detail of the index. So this is great. I was able to query by a user, count and aggregate by a user to have the list of tweets or count the tweet for a user. Let's now do the same, but with the tags. If you look, let's find a message that has a tag. Uh, URL, hashtags, I'm just looking for 
a specific message as, as I am injecting data I don't control what it's coming inside uh, my uh, my database here I have retweet as a hashtag that has been inserted entities hashtags and a list of hashtags here so what I have to do now just create a new view to create an index on these tags by tags edit this again and we will just create a view on the on, on the hashtag so what I have to check first is if the document contain entities contain a hashtag so since it's an array I just have to check if it's has contained at least one element and then I just have to emit for each tag so for in hashtag just we loop on this array and we we'll just generate emit so I will emit as many entries in the index as I found hashtags just let's test it quickly and as you can see it's uh, it's the, the um, and hashtags it's an element contained of an array of text plus in this so I will text only the text for this specific in this so text save here we go I have all the tags here same as before I will use a count to count for each tag show the result it's okay and I will re-index completely the cluster so this is just a subset of the data I won't go in detail here so just let's now test with this specific view so I have three thousand tweets that contains tags if I want to see them I would just have to do reduce to false so here I will see all the tweets as a key that we have if I want to count by tweet I will just and we see that Android is a lot used so if I want to count them I will just group level equal one and I will see the number of tweets for each tag if I look at Android we see that Android has 21 in this case so it's case sensitive so if I want I can create two lowercase or two uppercase use this function in my index but let's focus on, um, on something else before if I want to view all the Android message once again I just have to do reduce equal false and key equal Android so now I have all my index all my tweets that are tagged uh, with Android. So very quick and easy. So let's way create of a view by date this time. Add view by date. Save. And same as before, I will use one of the element of the JSON document. So we see here we have a created at that I will use in my view. So if doc which is at I will emit this date once again I don't need any value for this specific query save this execute and you see the date but the date is used as a string so it's not the best because for example Friday will be for will be before Monday Wednesday will be um, after Friday so no, really not a good idea so what I need to do is I need to transform this using for example the date to array to something that is well ordered and not only by doing that I can order properly the data but also I have what we call a compound key based on an array with year, month, day, hour, minute, seconds that will allow me to do some grouping if I do for example I want to use a count function so reduce function to count them so let's calculate, uh, we build the index for the full data set. So now I'm going to execute the query on this specific by date. So I have 44,000 uh, tweets in my database. And if I want to see all this, the index, I just have to do reduce equal false. So as you can see, I have the Twitter ID, but more importantly, I have the specific date. 
and I have all of them since I'm starting to insert the data inside the database. So let's group by, for example, group with all equal four. I will see what months, uh, so year, months, um, day, and hour. If I go back to five, number of tweets per minute or number of tweets per second. And once again, I can not only navigate in the level of grouping that I want to see, but I can also uh, I can also, if I have the group level, so I have only six in this case, but uh, to the smallest one, and what I can do is I can take the key and do key equal and see that I have 65 for the specific seconds. And if I want to see the tweets, which use equal false, it's done. So what I have using sim three simple views by username, by tag, by date, I am able to do some query to query specific tweets for a specific date or specific tag or specific user. But I am also be able to do some uh, great analytic uh, analysis of my data by grouping them by time and so on. You just have to, inside your view, use as much JavaScript as it's needed to create the keys that you want to do aggregations or to view the data as you want. When you are done creating the view and testing the view, you can move it from development view, so development mode, to production by simply publish them this way. And the index will be automatically updated uh, and you can view the data uh, for all the users and so on. And you can use them inside your application using the view API of your favorite SDK. So thanks for watching and let's stay tuned to see another demonstration of Coachbase uh, feature.